now we'll put the name of this cloud network as a IBM IBM cloud network IBM cloud network I have created a IBM cloud network in this now this I have created in Southeast Asia I created this now next what now I have to select where how this DNS server this DNS server right so this uh, machine I mean this network which I have created whether it will be handled by Microsoft or it will be handled by my on-premise network if I will be trying to connect to my uh, on-premise network this is cross network so I have to select configure site to site VPN and if I wanted to connect directly by this without I mean point to site that is just a uh, RDP client is there in your machine so you can select this right so I will say first I will select DNS server uh, I will select the DNS so I'm just trying to connect to on-premise network I am connecting this virtual network I mean the clouds network to a testing on-premise network so I'll select this is a basically DNS server which I have with me right I have a see this is maybe your own DNS server you can put and you can put the IP address of that DNS server in this select configure site to site VPN use express route is a high speed dedicated line used for the just like lease line it is this type of thing so now you are having a DNS server as this name of local network this is my own network so I can put right this is ABC I have put the name of this I can put any specific new network I can create this network from there exactly and then I can put so this is the my name of local area network and this is my uh, my on-premise network on-premise network is having a name ABCD and IP address is this and this is my local area network name is this right I have entered this now what I will be doing I am creating a virtual network address space what is this now this address space is actually showing you what will be the network address will be given to this virtual network and you know this virtual network can have hundreds of computers so what will be the network should be provided IP address should be given to this whole network so I have selected 10.0.0.8 8 is a basically CIDR number that is classless internet classless internet domains no domain okay so CIDR classless internet connection so that is there now this dash 8 is basically showing you the first 8 bit will be blocks the rest will be available for data I mean your virtual machines so this IP address will be available to your machine so you can have how many 10.255 255 255 these are the range in this you will get the machine so this particular network which I am creating virtual network will be having a range of this machine this much many machine I can store it on or you can have it on this particular virtual network this is a subnet this is subnet why subnet is required actually now suppose we have a uh, account department and other departments and we wanted uh, we have 10 number of machines in this department so we don't want to put 0 to 10.0.0 0.0 .0 to 0.5 to I can put okay uh, this for accounts department this for the then every time I have to remember okay from 0 to 1 I have given there then 1 to 2 I have given there I have given this much here there uh, but then still they are connected in the same network so the isolation is not done properly in this case right so what I will do I will create another subnet from here this is a subnet I am creating and I am just putting the address in the subnet so this is my first subnet okay I can I can just delete this right I can delete this subnet also now but by default there is one subnet is there because any uh, this thing is needing a one minimum subnet so one subnet and I will put this name of this subnet instead of this I'll put account I can create account subnet which is having a starting IP address 10.0.02 this dash 11 so this is first 11 character bit will be uh, this will be subnet right so what will be happen say 8 and 3 11 right so rest of the 
things will be available to you. So that is out for 32, 32 minus 11, that much workstation will be available to this network. So this is what network is available to you. 2,900. Okay, you can create another account. I'll create HR. And you can see the 32.0. 10.32.0.0 again with the slash 2000 another network I have created I can create one more network production you can see see how is it is here it is having a 4000 number of with 10 so see with the number of 10 subnet now I have created so this is basically isolating the networks from each other it is not the same range 32 and 63 is a different range actually 64 to this range is different so you can see you are creating a different different network account network HR net you can create another network also you can create Bangalore you can create Bangalore network so Bangalore will be given this much IP addresses so from which these are the things which is coming out in this is coming out from automatically from your Azure. Azure is providing you all these IP addresses to these things actually these machines and these machines are in a cloud actually what number of machine you are going to, going to create in cloud this is a department now you see you are creating exactly your office in a virtual network so you are creating this 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 right now you can add the gateway subnet add a gateway ok address is full hence you cannot add it so this is the last now this is add a address space now this is what has happened so you have seen now you have added those so many networks HR production and all those things Bangalore and Delhi and you can create the address ranges over of 10 series you can add another address space and then you can select the starting IP address here here you can have uh, 172.16.0 uh, right 16.0.0 right you can have it you can select here this is having a slightly more range you can create this is the thing actually I just want HR I have created what I will be doing I have created this network in my virtual this thing where I'll be going to put this now this will be having a range of this now if I'll be adding any machines in HR it will get automatically the IP address from zero it will be getting an IP address from so we have created subnet here and see you can see uh, the small subnet you have created we can put this name as HR and that's all so this is the basically you have created a subnet in this and in this subnet you are getting you are adding department wise you can add a gateway from which it will be getting connected yes it is going to create a network here